This is a follow-up video to my previous video, where I demonstrate the basics of STM32 bare metal programming using a blinking LED example. Recall that we only set up a for loop as our makeshift delay function. This is not an effective way of doing it, since you can't accurately determine the time the loop takes to count to the number. We are fixing this by implementing a delay function using SysTickTimer peripheral of STM32. The SysTickTimer is a standard 24-bit down counter driven by the processor clock. SysTickTimer is a core peripheral of the ARM Cortex-M processors, which means that it is found across all ARM Cortex-M microcontrollers, regardless of chip manufacturer. You are now following this video with an STM32, which is made by ST, but NXP or TI are also manufacturers who have bought the ARM design license to create ARM-based chips. These chips can have different peripherals, but the core peripherals, including the Cystic timer, are always available. It is a 24-bit down counter, which means it starts from an initial value anywhere between 0 and 2 to the power of 24, minus 1, then decrements from this value till it reaches 0. Once it does, it raises a flag, triggers an interrupt, and automatically reloads a new value from the reload register. Since it is a standard timer, its primary function is to produce periodic interrupts for real-time operating systems like FreeRTOS or other event-driven applications. Even without an RTOS, it can serve as a basic timer peripheral. That's how we're going to use it today to build a delay function. First, we need to know what registers we need to write to. To do so, we need its reference manual. Search for the Cortex-M4 generic user guide, which should be available with a quick search. The reason we're looking for a separate document is that SysTick is a core peripheral of ARM Cortex, so the complete information regarding it isn't available in the STM32 reference manual. Moving on, Chapter 4 is where we can find information on these core peripherals, including the SysTick timer. Its registers are Current Value Register contains the current count value. Control and Status Register allows us to configure the SysTick clock source Enable Disable Interrupts and Enable Disable the Cystic Counter. Cystic Reload Value Register. This is where the initial count value is placed. Calibration Value Registers. For calibration purposes in more demanding applications and not included in this video. So let's say we want to delay one millisecond. How to do so? Look at the usage hints. We need to set the reload value first. The system clock is always used for SysTick and it has a frequency of 16 megahertz or 16 million cycles per second. The formula is then relatively simple. If N is the number of cycles that generate the delay, then N divided by system clock frequency equals our delay in seconds. According to this, a one millisecond delay should give us N equals 16,000. However, our reload value we write to the register will not be N, but N minus one, because the counter starts counting from zero. Next, we clear the current count value by setting the value register to zero. We program the control register by setting bit zero and two of the register to one. Bit zero will enable the counter, whereas bit two indicates that the clock source will be the processor clock. If bit two is zero, then we need an external clock source. Bit 16 is the count flag, which returns one if you finished counting down to zero. Bit one is interrupt and is not used here, but if it is set to one, then finishing the countdown will generate an interrupt signal. Otherwise not. Now that we understand the principle, we can write the function. The starting code is from the previous video with the header files included, and I have removed the for loop. The header file has already defined for us the needed registers. First, we define bit zero, 2 and 16 of the control register as previously mentioned. We want our delay function to be in a unit of milliseconds, so we set set reload value to 16,000 minus 1. Then write 0 to the value register to clear the value. Write 1 to bit 0 and 2 of the control register. We're going to have a for loop here. The idea is that there is a dummy while loop that waits for the count flag to be equal to 1. Then we can move on to the next iteration. This is repeated till we reach the desired delay. When done, we write zero to the control register to disable the SysTick timer. Finally, we call our function to delay 1000 milliseconds or one second. And we have created for ourselves a functional delay function, finishing the goal of this video.
And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and as always, you can support my channel by dropping likes and subscribes, or even consider giving a small donation with my info under the description. Hope to see you again in my future video.